as black men, you've been through a whole lot surviving the gynocracy. I mean, unimaginable abuses and gaslighting and head games that's given black men deep wounds, legitimate scars, emotional scars, even physical scars. I mean, do I, got, do I have to run down the list of what it means to be the son, a son of the gynocracy? At this point, I don't have to do it, but here we go. How many of you had had a woman call the cops on you because you ate the last drumstick out of the refrigerator? How many of you had the cops called on you because you went to go pick up your child on a weekend visit and she just called the police on you out of spite? How many women have smacked you upside the head or pulled out a knife or put a gun to your head where you're looking down the barrel of a gun simply for existing? And because she was too stressed out and has internalized white supremacy, is cluster B or has emotional problems that no man on this earth can fix or heal. How many of you were trapped with children that you didn't want, that you didn't ask for? How many of you were trapped with children and the woman knew that she was going to end the relationship with you long before she got pregnant? How many of you married women who knew that they were going to end the divorce long before you got married and you didn't see it coming? You didn't see that train coming. How many of you had mothers that birthed you out of a similar scenario when you were a child? Many of us are simply lucky to survive Roe versus Wade. And this, this is just a few, a few examples of what it means to be a son of the gynocracy, to survive the gynocracy. So when I hear black men in 2023 tell me that they don't want a submissive wife, they don't want their girlfriend submissive or their partner or their spouse or their loved one, they don't want them submissive. I'm thinking, what the hell is going on, brah? Wake up. You're being gaslit. People are playing massive head games with you. There are people out here that want to abuse you while they smile in your face and tell you that they love you and tell you that they want a warm and affectionate and intact family with you. And this whole time, they've been plotting against you behind your back. And nobody really tells you this until the black manosphere started to arise. Now, of course, we had gangster rap and hip hop in the 80s and 90s. But somehow. That type of rap music has disintegrated and now no longer black men are told about these threats from women. So knowing that your back is against the wall, everybody wants a piece of you whether it be good or bad. It's time for you to write the rules, black man. You either have to be insane or a coward not to require submission in 2023. But let's first define what submission is for thinking black man, because our definition is different than this white supremacist evangelical Christian definition of submission because their definite submission is a woman knows her role she knows her place her role is to serve her man and to not cause too much trouble and sort of put her place in this subservient position but as a thinking black man we don't want that we don't want women who've been hobbled by the culture, women who, who aren't self-actualized, it's actually the opposite. For us, submission is freedom for black women. It's freedom, freedom for them to be educated, for them to be assertive, for them to show leadership, all within the marriage. Because for us, as a thinking black man, a submissive wife 
is synonymous with a family building warrior. A submissive wife is a family building warrior. Really contemplate that. When a wife is a family building warrior, you don't have to tell her what to do. You don't have to put her in her place. You don't have to control her. You can't. She's going to build her family. She's going to keep it nurturing and loving and rewarding and fulfilling for all members involved. Because she understands that love is duty. Yeah, she has the same chemical romance process that all women do. But because she's educated and is thinking black men, we understand and acknowledge that most submissive wives are college educated. They have strong leadership skills and they have assertive personalities. But because they know their role and their duty to the family within the marriage for you, herself and her children, she makes a commitment to put in the work to get the outcomes that she wants within your family structure because your goals within your family structure are her goals within the family structure so from this perspective a submissive wife needs less control than any other type of wife because she's going to do what it takes to get the outcomes that she wants and there's far too many black men who've been abused by the gynocracy, who've been ran over, been gaslit, they're confused, they lose confidence when it comes to themselves and black women and really any other type of woman where many of us get distorted in what we want or the expectations that we can have. And we look, start to look insane. We start to sound like cowards when we say we don't require submission from a woman. In order to be a true thinking black man, one of the things you have to understand is that family planning is most certainly a masculine endeavor. That as black men, we get to write the rules of our own family structure and how our families are formed, who we pick as the mother of our children and how she has to behave in our household and how she has to treat us and raise our children. She has to have a certain subset of core values. She's got to have a certain subset of long-term goals. And they have to align with us as individuals. So when we talk about submission, what we mean is that a woman has the same goals as us, the same orientation as us, and we work at building a strong and loving and nurturing and, fu and fulfilling marriage together as one. And a woman who's submissive will eagerly and happily and publicly tell you and other people that she's definitely a submissive wife because she takes pride in really what that means. She takes pride in being a family building warrior. And when she speaks that way, nobody questions her. In fact, the room gets quiet. People listen because they hear wisdom from her words. They hear that deep reverence that she has for herself, for her husband, for her children, for her community because she's got the heart of a servant but also the heart of a lion she's not weak she's not a doormat she's not somebody that could ever be subservient within her own family structure because she's willing to work to the bone she's willing to kill over her family and when you have that type of mindset Subservience doesn't even come into the picture 
because what you're doing is growing and fostering and nurturing. How can a parent ever be subservient to their own child? The child doesn't tell the adult what to do and they never do. It doesn't work that way. Well, in that same way, a husband can never get a submissive woman to be subservient, but she's because she's going to be driven from the core to be a family building warrior and a man can't get in, in her way. And why would he? Why would any man want a woman who's a family building warrior to slow down in any way? It's just simply not going to happen. But the problem is, is there's not enough black men that are going to open air, tell other people they're not going to talk to other black men. They damn sure won't tell black women that they require submission. We've got to stop telling other black men and women that all we want is somebody who's nice to us, that all we want is respect. That's what you expect out of a coworker. It sounds insane. It sounds cowardly. It sounds that it sounds like you've been beaten down by life into begging for crumbs when you say that you only want respect and a basic amount of love and and affection from a woman. No, black man. You want the whole thing. You want the best that a woman can give you. And if she won't give you that, then she's not going to get your seed. She doesn't get to start a family with you. She doesn't get to get married with you. You're going to keep her at a distance, meaning you're going to cut her out of your life and you're going to find a woman who is submissive because as a thinking black man, you require a submissive wife. You require a family building warrior for yourself and for your children. Perhaps black women's biggest weakness is non-submission. Perhaps black women's only weakness is non-submission. And all the issues that they have, perhaps they stem out of this non-submission to their husbands, to their marriages, to intact families, to child rearing and the duty of those undertakings. Have you ever thought that all those problems arise out of non-submission? As a thinking black man, I want you to stand on your square with your back straight and your chin up. And I want you to have the resolve to open air, to publicly, to tell other men and women that you require submission because you require a family planning warrior as a wife, as a woman you're going to start a family with. And if she's not a family planning warrior, if she's not submissive, then she's not in the group with thinking black men. As a black man, you've got to ask yourself, do you have an Oedipal relationship with black women? where you see yourself as trapped in this spider web and you're not going to leave but you know if you stay that they're going to keep you weak so this is why you never ask for submission why you as a man think that requiring a family building warrior is something that you can't ask for because you're not allowed because you know it's not your birthright to ask for such a thing Because as thinking black men, what we believe is that if you don't require a family building warrior, either you're insane or a coward. And thinking black men are willing to kick out and remove all these game goofy, family destroying women and replace them with new and better women. We've got a lot of women within the gynocracy that are so game goofy that they don't even know what to say to thinking black men to earn our trust. 
You should be willing to replace each and every one of these family destroying women with new and better family building women. And those type of women, the women that are family building warriors, they want you to talk about submission. A woman who might possibly share her submission with you. She wants you to show your resolve when it comes to an intact family, when it comes to a loving and nurturing and fulfilling marriage. And she's going to need you to understand that a submissive wife takes on a heavy workload within a marriage. And she needs you to recognize and honor that that burden that she carries as a submissive wife, because it's a lot of work and it's not easy. So when you say, oh, I don't, I don't want to talk about submission. And specifically what I mean is you don't lay down the law that you require a family building warrior. Knowing all this now, you sound insane. You sound cowardly. And you run off the very woman that would want to share their submission with you. 